Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here today. If you have seen my first video, you would know that I'm a senior studying computer science at Boston University. But before I dive into that, I want to... So I do have a new mic on my shirt right now. You can't see because my shirt is black and the mic is black. But hopefully the audio is going to be a little bit more crispier. But it also means that it's going to sound a little bit different and you might hear me mispronouncing some of the words. But, you know, I... It's good enough. My English are good enough that I can communicate and you guys can understand me and I can understand other people. So today I want to talk about um, basically being a computer science student at Boston University. I'm also a transfer, so for me it's a little different than if you're coming in as a first year. Talk through my experience, talk through the incoming or perspective if you're looking to go into computer science at BU. This is what you can be expecting. I hope I had this video when I was deciding whether or not I want to come to BU or not. I actually just didn't look it up. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure there's also other videos out there that talk about computer science major at BU. So I do have my notes here. I'm not really good at improvising and I also want this video to have some kind of flow. That's why I have my notes here. I always have my notes. So first thing I want to talk about why I choose computer science as a major. So actually, I back in high school, I wanted to be an accountant because my mom was an accountant and I always just want to go into what my mom was. I think senior year or junior year of high school, I saw my sister doing coding and I'm like, what is it, right? And I asked my sister, she is an electrical engineering major, but I know for sure I cannot be an electrical engineering, so I decided to go into as a computer science major. So I got into college in Fordham freshman year as a computer science major and I never just I never thought of changing it just because it's hard but it's also kind of challenging and exciting it's kind of fun as well so I just decided to go through with a uh, computer science major and second year coming in I wanted to transfer so I started my application as a transfer student when I got into BU and I just decided to stay at BU because I want to make it fun, I want to make it you know, more interesting, I'm going to interview some of my friends. So you're going to see a little snippet about me interviewing my friends on why they choose to become to BU and why they choose to become a computer science major. My first question is, why did you choose to come in as a CS major? Um, because, well CS specifically because there's so many things I, I'm indecisive. There's so many things I want to do. Like I wanted to be a teacher at one point, I wanted to be in the FBI at one point, I wanted to, I don't know, so many different things. Uh -huh. CS, you can do everything in CS. I could be an FBI agent in CS, or mm -hmm. I could teach people with CS. Like it's mm -hmm. just great. Um, and my second question is why did you choose to come to BU? BU because of job placement um, mm -hmm. statistics and okay. um, I wanted to be in a city but not like in the heart of a city where it was kind of like a little sketchy like a little outside I wanted to be and mm -hmm. um, I love Boston mm -hmm. and I heard the CS program was good so what makes you choose to come in as a CS major? Honestly, I have no idea. I just saw a lot of opportunities in high school that were related to computer science. So I was like, I'll just go with this because there's so many opportunities. So yeah, I honestly mm -hmm. really was going to switch out of CS when I got to BU, but then I kind of stuck with it because, you know, I'm, I don't like switching. And my second question to you is why did you choose to come to BU? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's also <laughs> fine. Um and then second part, I want to talk about just course selection in general. Coming in as a computer science major, um, if you're coming in into the College of Art and Science, they would have a recommended advising sheet for you to take. Like these are the courses that you should be taking this semester and next semester, and so they have it all laid out. I'll also put it on the screen right now. So yeah, they recommend to just take the prereq because we also have prereq for other classes. But coming from you know a student, I've taken a classes that I need to prereq at the same time. So it doesn't really matter. They're not gonna actually go and check to see if you've taken the prereq or not. So if you wanna take something, but then you're like, oh, I need this prereq, just go ahead and register it. And so this is the schedule for the recommended from our CAS administrative CS degree. They recommend these, you guys taking these schedules. Um, I'll also show a picture of what my schedule looked like as a transfer student. So I'm actually graduating a semester early, so my, and I also overload a little bit here and there. I took classes during the summer for equivalent and then have it transferred to BU as a credit. And so for me, it's a little different because 
I just want to get out of school like ASAP and so I took a lot of classes. I've taken four serious classes in one semester. And then I also want to talk about BU Hub units. So BU Hub units is something that's relatively new. Uh, but basically you have to take other classes to fulfill the hub units and the way that you know what hub unit you need to fulfill or what is left, you can go on to your degree advice and then you can look through what you need and you can also filter through classes through the hub units that you need to take. Uh, but like the generals are like scientific inquiry, sci uh, social inquiry and then there's also another section of like intellectual toolkits. Um, a lot of them actually fulfilled by RCS degree so do look into what it's already been fulfilled with the CS degree and then go ahead and take the other ones that would not be fulfilled with the CS degree. Next up, I want to talk about some time management tasks or time, time management tips that you can use during uh, your college years throughout the four years. I know that, you know, juggling through coursework, extracurricular, and then at the same time having to look for an internship is a very hard thing to do just because you have such you have so much to do but you only have limited time for you to do all of them and then when you there's also deadlines coming up like homework assignments so personally i really like to use my google calendar i literally lift off google calendar so everything that i have it's on my google calendar any assignments to any classes any appointments any meetings it's on there and if you need to block off time, block off time on your calendar so you know what to do when you know, you're know you like, oh, I don't know what to do, but then you're like, oh, I have something blocked off for this moment, so I'm gonna do that instead. Other things that you can also try and do on campus is to try to find an on-campus job. We always have on-campus job. I personally, when I came into BU, I got a job at BU Spark as an Ignite Ambassador, and I've been doing that for a couple years now. BU Spark on campus job is actually the highest paying jobs on BU campus. It's $18 per hour. And if you're a PM, you will be paid $20 per hour. So that was pretty good for me as a college student. And next, I want to talk about some study strategy. I know a lot of people struggle with studying, time management. I was thinking to have another set video talk about studying strategy, but I can briefly talk, I can briefly talk about some studying strategies that I like to use. I think the first thing is definitely note-taking, using a very specific note-taking method. I like to use the Cornell one because I can see like a summary at the end and I can also see like bullet points or like topics on the side for me for easier for, I guess, studying. And then obviously going to office hours also helps a lot, studying with friends, studying at like places, a quiet place or just somewhere that has a very scenic background or like somewhere that you feel relaxing and then i want to talk about academic resources i know a lot of people have questions about academic resources we have a korea center service on bay state Row that they provide assistance for resume writing and cover letter writings you can book a appointment through a handshake if you want to but i would suggest you book an appointment early because those appointments really filled up get filled up very early on. And also other recommended um, academic resources are if you are looking to gain more experience in research space, you can go and apply for, um, it's called URO, which is undergrad, undergraduate research opportunity program. Sometimes they have different types of research program on there that you can help or you can do with the professor. Um, a lot of them are through applications, so you have to apply for it and then to see if the professor wants to take you in or not. Um, but if you didn't get it first year, like don't worry about it, try it, and, uh, try it again and again and eventually, or even just start your own research. If you're very passionate about something, start your own research, ask for a mentor, ask for a professor, look through it, look over it, give you advice, suggestions, things like that, you know. And then other than that, we also have a lot of project-based classes like the XC-475 for CS degree and the XC-410 are also a project-based. Another one is called XC-410. 
or CS519 is also a project base. A lot of them are provided through BU Spark. So if you go to BU Spark website, go through the courses, those are most likely going to be project based classes. And that also gives you CS degree if you're a technical teammate's role. But other than that, if you're looking for more experience, like actual work experience, BU Spark offers a lot of positions for students. We um, I guess first of all, we have the ambassador, which is just staffing the BU Spark space. If you know what you actually want to do post grad, they also have like technical teammates or technical interns that you can apply for. Uh, you can also apply for a project management role, and also they have a project management, and they also have a technical project management. So there's two project management roles. And then after that, obviously as a student, um, you need to do a lot of career planning, career finding, job searching, things like that. I would say though, BU doesn't really do a good job with that. A lot of them, they have services, but people don't know about it. So a lot of them are through word of mouth. So they do have a lot of career fairs. If you go on Handshake, we have career fairs laid out throughout the years that you can go to. Finding experience, you can find any like on-campus job that can give you the same experience that you want to go into the industry in the future. And also the Career Center Service, Career Service Center, also have appointments where you can go through a resume together, do resume writings, do some cover letters review, cover letters writing, things like that. So there are services out there that you can go and look for. You just need to know where is the right place to look for. Last but not least, I want to talk about um, the academic calendar and registration deadlines and things like that. So for our registration, usually seniors get first dibs. So seniors will have different time slot and the time slot is based on um, the last digit of your BU ID. So if you, every year they change it a little bit, they rearrange it a little bit. So people have opportunity to apply or register for classes that they want. And obviously senior get first dibs and then juniors and then sophomore and last one is uh, freshmen. Uh, and as a transfer student, you just get dibs on whatever level you're in. So if I transfer as a sophomore, I transfer in to be as a sophomore, then I am a sophomore um, standing. And if you transfer as a junior, then you're a junior standing. And I guess specifically for a CS major, a lot of our homework assignment deadlines is a week. So they give you a week to do it. The, some of them they're released on Thursday and then it's due like next Wednesday night. So that's like a whole week, but I'm not sure about other classes. I know other classes might have different types of deadlines, but usually, generally speaking, for all CS classes, homeworks are due one week. But yeah, so other than that, I think that was everything that I want to talk about being a CS major at BU. I hope you guys find this video helpful. And if you're looking to get into BU as a CS major, like feel free to comment down below more of your concern and I'll try my best to help answer it that way. But yeah, so that's a wrap for today's video. If you like this video, please click the like button and also subscribe and click the bell button if you want to know whenever I post. I would greatly appreciate if you can click the like button and also thank you all for staying along this whole video. I hope I make this as interesting as I can. This is a wrap and I'll see you guys next time I post. Bye!